Bingo. Hello, hello, hello. Today is Friday. Yes, it is. It's Friday, Friday, Friday. And I am Dr. Joy Fremont with Miss Dr. Lady's Tips for Your Teeth. I know I haven't been on for the last few days, but I'm here. Here we are. It's Friday, so I'm so happy that you guys are joining me today. Once again, I'm Dr. Joy Fremont coming live to you from Atlanta or Hapeville, Georgia. Whatever you want to say, it is right here close to the Atlanta airport. So if you're anywhere close to us, come holler at your girl. 404-761-1659. That's 404-761-1659. You can also come see us at 606 South Central Avenue, right in the heart of Hapeville, Georgia. Or you can always email me at office at thehapevilledentist.com. If you don't want to do any of that, just send me a note down below. Right there in the comments down below, just text me or type me something in. I'll get your comments. Or you can send me an instant message or a DM. Hey, Renee. Hey, Sarah Beasley. It's so great to see you guys today. I'm so happy that you all are safe. I'm praying that you all are safe and healthy because we are still in this. Now, I will tell you, today I'm talking about some water. Now, I'm talking about that because we are still in the midst of this coronavirus, COVID-19 pandemic. Even though you may not be hearing about it as much as you used to, we're still here. And I'm going to be honest with you. I have not been as great as I should have been or should be drinking my water. However, I'm going to talk to you today about the different types of water because, yes, there are different types of water and no, they are not the same. And yes, each one of them does something different to your teeth, which is why we call today Miss Dr. Lady's Tips for Your Teeth. So if you're here with me watching it live, for those of you who haven't spoken yet, please say hey to me down below. If you're here watching the replay, just type the word replay and I'm still gonna give you a shout out. So thank you all for coming. Now, as you know, you know our body is mainly made up of water. Even though this might not look like water, your cells are mainly, mainly, mainly water, okay? And we know water is good for us. I don't have to go through all that, okay? However, the different types of water do different things to your body because they're made up of different types of properties, all right? Just so you know, just if you don't hear anything else that I say today, okay, regular water is always the best. But what is regular water, right? The flat, regular water. What is flat? If it's not bubbly, Okay, if it's bubbly at all, it's more acidic, point blank, period. Okay, the bubbliness comes from carbonation that's added to the water some kind of way, all right? Then you have the flavored bubbly or flavored carbonated water. It's more corrosive because it has some type of citric acid in it. I'm not saying don't drink it. I'm just giving you a little bit of knowledge about what you're drinking, all right? Then you have the sparkling water. That's a little bit more carbonated. That gives it the big old fizz, all right? Once again, plain water is always best for you because the other sparkling water has the acid in it. And that acid is going to do nothing but eventually erode or corrode your teeth or enamel over time, okay? And when that erosion or corrosion occurs, you're gonna have teeth that are thinner than they should be. And the thinner the tooth structure, the more sensitivity you may have. So you may say, oh my God, what am I doing? My teeth are so sensitive now, I'm not doing anything different. You probably are, you just don't know what you're doing. And the types of water that you're drinking may be the cause of it, okay? On top of that, if your oral hygiene or your home care or the way you care for your teeth is not 100% tip top shape, that plaque and bacteria on top of that acid or corrosive stuff in that water is going to, it's a big old explosion. It's not going to be good for you, okay? So, of course, I want you to take care of your teeth, meaning brushing and flossing at least twice a day. At least twice a day. And then to reduce the amount of corrosive things that you put in your mouth. All right, Karen Moore says, check your PM. I will check my PM, thank you. All right, 
So, if you had a choice, if, if you don't want to just drink water all day, you want to do juices or sodas, I really don't want you to do that. But if you have to choose and you really don't want the plain water, the sparkling water is going to be always better than your juices or soda, okay? So I want to break down the five types of water. One is regular water. Best, all right? One is regular water, right? The second type that you see, and you, you've heard of these, seltzer water. Has anyone heard of seltzer water? If you have, just say yes. You've heard of seltzer water, all right? Now, seltzer water is the simplest of water aside from the regular tap water, okay? Now, it's made of water plus they actually carbonate this water with, guess what? Carbon dioxide. Yes, you are drinking carbon dioxide if you drink seltzer water, all right? But naturally, it's, it's, it's pretty bland, okay? But the flavor in that bland seltzer water comes from the like natural fruit essences and oils that they add to it. Now, seltzer water is like uh, LaCroix. Oh, if you really want to get jiggy on this Juneteenth, it's LaCroix. <laughs> LaCroix, okay? That's your seltzer water, right? That is probably, you know, it's, it's pretty safe. Just know that it has carbon dioxide added to it, okay? Number two, somebody give me a two. The number two, oh well, no, we're on three now. One was regular water, two was seltzer water. The third kind of water I'm talking about is your club soda. If you heard of club soda, somebody say yes. I know you've heard of club soda. Club soda is like your Canada Dry. You can buy it in the stores. It's marketed as club soda, right? It's almost like seltzer water, right? Remember, seltzer water has your carbon dioxide added to it. But this time, the club soda, in addition to your carbon dioxide, guess what it has inside of it? It has minerals, like sodium bicarbonate. Y'all know what sodium bicarbonate is? It's baking soda, right? It also has sodium citrate. That citrate is citric acid. Remember, I told you the acid will wear your teeth away, right? It also has disodium phosphate. Have you heard of that? Mm -mm, probably not, but guess what? It's in your club soda. And sometimes, guess what guys? They add sodium chloride to it. That's right, bleach. Sometimes it's added to it, all right? That's why sometimes that club soda is salty because they've added those minerals to it, okay? So if you were to taste the plain seltzer water with no um, flavor in it, and you have your club soda next to it, you're gonna have a whole different taste. Forget the fizz, I'm talking about just the taste. You're gonna have a saltier taste that comes with the club soda. I'm just telling you something that's there, all right? The next type of water, real quickly, is your sparkling mineral water. And that sparkling mineral water is like the Pellegrino or your Perrier, the fancy kind of stuff, all right? Now, guess what? This may not have those added minerals like the sodium chloride or the sodium, sodium bicarbonate, but guess what? It has the natural minerals that are naturally in the water, such as magnesium, right? Potassium, right? And also your sodium. And it's filtered naturally and it's put in that bottle. Simple as that, okay? The sparkling mineral water. Now, like I said, the club soda, you add those things to it. Those chemicals are added to it. The sparkling mineral water, those minerals are never getting filtered out. They're staying in there, okay? But where are the bubbles coming from? Those bubbles are artificially added, or they could be naturally in there, but probably not. The artificially added, and that's your Pellegrino or your Perrier. The last kind of water I'm going to talk about is your tonic water, okay? The tonic water is flavored water, basically. It's pretty flat, it's pretty bland, but they add sugar to it, all right? And that's why sometimes that tonic water tends to blend better with your cocktail your alcohol because alcohol is a sugar so they're going to match the sugar in the tonic water to the natural sugar in the alcohol well not natural sugar the sugar in the alcohol and that's why most of the time the tonic water blends so smoothly with your alcohol okay and it has a higher caloric 
amount, so it has more calories, if you even care at this point if it has calories or not. The tonic water, out of all those waters, the tonic water has the most calories, even though this light, that means light tonic water has artificial sugar. So that's it. That's why I drink regular water, okay? That's why I want you to drink regular water as much as you can. And all those waters, the one that's best for your teeth is like the one you buy, like your distilled water, your drinking water, your purified water, your water at the store, or you can even drink it out of the tap if you're freaky about drinking tap water. Look, <laughs> you all probably intake more stuff in your bodies besides just regular water coming out the faucet. Just think about it, but I'm not making you drink the faucet water. You can drink regular bottled water. That's fine. Just understand if you're not going to drink that and drinking the fizz, because some people just don't like the taste of um, water. You can add your fruits to it. You can add lemons or limes or whatever you want to have, and you can infuse it. That's fine. But just understand, if you can't do any of that, please remember Water is always better than your juices and your sodas. And if you're going to drink the juice and the sodas, do it sparingly. Don't rock out all the time. It even goes with the tea. It even goes with the lemonade. Water is always best for your teeth, okay? It's going to make sure those corrosive uh, materials are not going to wear out your teeth, okay? So that's it for Miss Dr. Lady's Tips for Your Teeth. Hey, it's about water. Either way it goes, please hydrate yourself. Please stay safe out here in these times. I hope that helps somebody. It's just a quick breakdown of different kinds of water. That's all I got for you today. If you have any questions, please give me a call, 404-761-1659. Um, you can always, once again, email me. You can send me a DM or PM like Morris did. You can also uh, come by. We're open. We're open and we'd be so happy to see you, okay? Please stay safe. Thank you for watching. Have a wonderful and safe weekend. Talk at you later. Bye.